Along with uh, another man, Jim O'Cheese and Ken Roan. Without them and their knowledge of, of the lands, I wouldn't know what I know today with our treaties. So I'd like to call up uh, Edwin French Eater. Thank you, thank you. It's good to see a lot of people here. We need that support. With, uh, with this proposed park, I have some issues and some concerns. I say no to this park. You know, when my son was talking about treaty, we have a treaty agreement that's in place, not with the province. This is a treaty infringement. Yes. This is about land. Land, we have a connection to the land as First Nation people. We have a treaty agreement with the Crown, not the provincial government. That's right. I'm working good. Also, I can go back in history, back the Royal Proclamation, 1764, the two row wampum belt, whatever you want to call it, nation to nation, government to government. We have our own laws, and the federal government have their own laws. No government or nation is to apply their laws on other nation or government. So we don't support that, what the provincial government is trying to do. I'm not gonna sign a, an agreement what the provincial government is proposing. We have a treaty agreement that's in place that still stands. The spirit and intent of treaties is still there as long as the sun shines, the water flows, the grass grows as long as there's First, First Nation people here in this land. So we still have that agreement that's in place. The Crown have a fiduciary legal obligation. Not this, not this devolution process that's taken place offloading the responsibility to the provincial government. We've never signed treaty with the provincial government. The Crown has a, a legal obligation. So that shouldn't take place. What happens out there in the land, we have a treaty right to hunt and fish to occupy that land. All of us need to go out there and we have to work together. So I oppose this park that they're proposing. This park should never take place. Also, we had meetings before. That's not consultation. There's a duty to consult, inform consent. They need our consent. Did we consent to this? No. We've never consented to this, right? No. 
right. We never consented. We said no. Proper consultation needs to take place. So I oppose this park. This park should never be introduced. They don't have that authority. There's no authority. This has to stop. It has to stop. This is our land. It has to stop. So, a lot to say here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Folks, uh, what we've got on our hands right now is the provincial equivalent of what's happening with our federal government and SNC Lavalin. Yep. This whole thing, <laughs> what's happening behind the scenes is them picking and choosing winners and awesome. losers. And unfortunately, they've cast us all as losers. So it's important we're standing together. <laughs> our next speaker is coming up right now and is Jim O'Cheese. There you are, sir. Thank you. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to say uh, it's very important to come together like this and to uh, to look after the future generation, their future. See, the agreement that, that was made that my brother talked about it was to share this land, to coexist, side by side. And that's how this land was used all along, to share and to work together, to learn from one another, and to, to coexist. And that was the agreement that was made, not to be decided only from one side, to coexist and to, to, to consent, to get that informed of consent from, from all people, not only from First Nations, but, but all people. Because we were put on this land to, to, to live on this land together. So I'm a, I'm a chief of Fort Els Ojibwe First Nation in Hinton, Alberta. So don't get it mixed up with the Ochis band because I have the last name of Ochis. <laughs> so I just wanted to uh, make that clear that that I'm not speaking for the Ochis band, but I am speaking for my people in in Hinton, Alberta. We are part of the the Ochis First Nation, but we never sign with the Ochis First Nation. But we do have ties to these cultural lands that are gonna be impacted. So we, for myself as a, as a leader of Fort Hills Ojibwe, I myself too, I, I, thought, I think uh, the government should have consulted with us at the beginning, even back in 1931 before the resources were transferred to the provinces. So anyway, I just wanted to say that, uh, that I have uh, concerns of this park that's gonna be here. We do have a, a, a letter going out to, to the minister and also to, to governor general, because this is something that, that shouldn't be happening without consent from from all of us not only first nations but, but all of us so i'm here today to to talk about our relationship the the agreement that was once made what my my brother talked about the royal proclamation the royal proclamation back in 1764 says that native people will never give up their sovereignty, which is the land, which is where what we shared into that time. And we still, we still follow that to share this land and to work together. 
and to consult with one another. So that's why I'm here today. Me too, I, I, I oppose this project because it's going to impact all of us, not only us here in First Nations. So thank you, and uh, I'd like to say to the minister that he should uh, follow what the, the UN Declaration says. They should consult before they went ahead make those decisions without First Nations. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to call up uh, Ken Roan, Kenny Roan. He has uh, direct ties with uh, Small Boy Camp area and he's a uh, hereditary leader as well. So, just waiting on him here. Then I'll get a representative from uh, Bighorn to come up as well. あ、ダンスのアコマガナク。ミッサナカキオ。ナナスコテン。オモタ。ベイタシタメコマ。ネタスキーナノマメコナナスキー。カキオタタムスカートナー。カペウィチカポストヤーク。カペシトスコヤー
to be on to I'm saying crawler mo tayo kito nga mo but I'm uh, grateful to be here this evening. I'm, on, I'm here on behalf of uh, Shane Crawler, the elected uh, councillor from Bighorn. He can't be here. He was in a meeting. But uh, we had a consultation meeting, if you want to call that, in Bighorn a couple of days ago, and a lot of the stuff I saw there is not, uh, is not sitting well with me. For, for instance, our hunting rights, as they mentioned, our treaties. In one place, they said the blue zones now we are allowed to hunt, trap, and whatever, but that's not true. I've been harassed. And also now the proposed, the proposal that they have in there now is in order for us to hunt, we have to get a permit to discharge our firearms. And also Shane Crawler, the counselor, also has his own trap line, which was handed down by his late father. Even that, when he passes on, his trap line does not get handed down, it gets back into the government's hands. Those are stuff we do not allow. Our treaty rights are there for a purpose. And also, our Sundance ceremonies out there. The proposal states we have to notify the government as to when our Sundances are going to happen. So as it was stated, we can't do that. It's not acceptable, plus we don't set our dates well in advance. We follow our visions, what our elders tell us how, how and when to erect our big lodges. And also, we, uh, the proposal states, we have to get a permit to chop down the ceremonial tree. So, there's a lot of stuff I don't agree with. As I met with uh, one of the NTP MLAs by accident in Edmonton uh, this past Thursday, he brought that up, and I literally told him, I'll have to tell you myself, I'm opposed. It's too vague. He went on to elaborate a little more, and I left it at that, because it was my daughter's uh, recognition, uh, recognition ceremony I was at, and I didn't want to uh, make it uh, look ill on her part. And then I met Mr. Nixon. So what he told us out there is it can be reversed. But what's the point of reversing something if it's not going to happen? Yeah. Yeah. So on behalf of the Big Corn First Nations, I'm not a band member. I'm uh, from Onion Lake, Saskatchewan, but my wife captured me there years ago. So I think I can speak on her behalf and my children, my grandchildren. So on his behalf, he says no. The Bighorn First Nations does not support the park, period. Okay, uh, we have a representative from the old chiefs as well. Um, I guess she was sent here with a message. Her, uh, her name's Pammy Whitford. Wherever you are, Pammy, can you make your way up? Pammy Whitford. Maybe you guys could bring that, bring your flag up here, hey? Yeah, I talked to uh, a few people from the OGs, and they they oppose it too, right? But uh, you know, they're our neighboring nation, and right now, with everything that's going on, you know, I know there's a lot of worry for them too. But uh, we got a representative here from OGs. Her name's Pammy Whitford. Okay, good evening. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, acknowledge the elders for the opening prayer. 
and uh, Joey, Edwin, Jimmy, I would like to acknowledge all of you supporters here that are uh, representing the, uh, the lands that we are trying to uh, preserve and, and that we are not wanting, wanting that to be taken by the government as we are nations to, um, to value our uh, teachings, the history also, and to, uh, to bring back the, the teachings of our um, the ceremonies. Um, because to me, land is our relation. Mother Earth is important to me. We come from a very, very perspective way of life. A gift of life is Mother Earth, and that's a spirit that's alive. The trees are our first relations, and I value and acknowledge all of the, uh, the spirit, spiritual living things. And I'm not sure if everybody knows about the history of our teaching, the ceremonial perspective. Me, I love my culture, and I always will value everything that the spirit has. And, and our people, we all are all people. <laughs> Let's become relations to the land too. Let's respect the land. Our water's powerful. We're, all, we're just like the water. 90% water, it's just the same as uh, the earth, us too. And I would just like to say that um, I oppose what, what's happening here because you know, I'm here, I'm standing here, living, spirit, living, breathing, and it's because of our land. And that's important to us. That's all I would like to say, thank you. Folks, next up from the Métis Nation is the Vice President for Alberta, Dan Cardinal. Es ist das gerade eco muta gaswake. Nena Nasquebau, Jerry Laszlo and Alice Berger and Bernie Olette. I said I am thankful to be here. I said hello, how are you? I am grateful for Jerry Laszlo and Alice Berger and Bernie Olette for letting the Métis Nation of Alberta know that we want to be consulted. We are not happy with what's happening. We are here to support our relatives, our First Nations, to say we stand with you. The Métis Nation of Alberta stands with you. That is what I am here to say. Exumaga. I am cold, so I won't talk too long. Merci. Okay, folks, we're just doing up our count right now of how many people have signed in. So if you haven't, there's a couple sheets left. Please uh, make sure you sign in. We're just about to the end here, folks. We're getting close. We're going to uh, make some time here for Jason Nixon. And Joey P wants to say a few more words. But uh, thanks, folks. You're doing great for hanging in there. J Jason's next. Jason Nixon, why don't you come up here? Give a big round of applause, folks. He's fighting for us. Thank you. <laughs> well, good evening, everybody. It's really good to be here. First of all, I think everybody here who is here on a cold night in Rocky Mountain House deserves a round of applause for coming up and standing up for our community tonight. <laughs> now, I know it's cold, so I'm going to just stick to a couple clear facts. First is this. Since this process started just a few months ago, we've had to deal with an NDP environment minister who has continually lied to our community.